Some inventions feel like science fiction. Silent machines, endless energy, no fuel, no emissions, just power forever. For decades, we've chased that dream. And now a new contender steps into the spotlight, the Liberty Engine 1.1. A bold project claiming to generate 10 kilowatts of triphasic power at 230 volts, seemingly infinite, without conventional input. Built from heavy metals, truck alternators, and mysterious alloys, this device has sparked debates across the Internet. Is it revolutionary technology or a well-edited illusion? Today we dissect the machine, the myth, and the method, because if it's real, the world might never be the same. Background and Bold Claims The Liberty Engine didn't emerge from a major tech lab or billion-dollar startup. It came from a passionate group of inventors and engineers, tinkerers determined to rethink energy from the ground up. Their vision? A generator that could run independently, indefinitely, and deliver consistent, usable power without the need for fossil fuels or solar input their first prototype, Liberty Engine 1.0, was met with skepticism and fascination. It showed promise but lacked transparency. Then came Liberty Engine 1.1, redesigned with a triphasic setup and improved efficiency. The team claimed it could deliver 10 kilowatts of stable energy at 230 volts between phases. But the boldest claim? Infinite energy generation a phrase that instantly triggers debate. Some say it's a misuse of the term, others call it modern alchemy. Yet the creators remain confident, asking viewers not for blind belief, but for open-minded observation. And with their latest release, they promise more than words. They show the build, the test, and the results. Let's break it down and see how far this idea goes. Core Components of the Liberty Engine 1.1 At the heart of Liberty Engine 1.1 lies a blend of common hardware and mysterious materials. Unlike flashy commercial devices, this machine looks handmade, almost rugged, but every part is intentional. The power source? A 24-volt DC, 100-amp truck alternator. Heavy-duty, built to last, and capable of serious current. It's not a typical choice for home inventors, but here it plays a vital role in converting mechanical rotation into electrical output. Then comes the alloy, a unique blend of silver and aluminum. The creators claim this metal increases conductivity while maintaining durability. It's visibly dense and heavy, a quality highlighted in the video. Whether it truly enhances output is up for debate, but its inclusion is one of the engine's signature features. To bind and stabilize everything, they use epoxy resin. This resin forms a hardened shell around key components, protecting them from vibration and wear. After a full 24-hour curing period, the structure is locked in place, giving it that industrial solidity. Fans of DIY engineering will notice the compact design. It's minimal, yet purposeful. Every blade, wire, and bolt feels part of a bigger equation. There's also an emphasis on symmetry, likely crucial for maintaining phase balance across the triphasic setup. If one side falters, the system could collapse. That's the gamble of building something so precise from scratch. From the alternator to the alloy, the Liberty Engine's components aren't futuristic. They're repurposed with intent. And somehow that makes the results even more intriguing. Internal Mechanics and Configuration what makes the Liberty Engine 1.1 stand out isn't just what it's made of, it's how it's wired. At its core, this generator uses a triphasic configuration arranged in a delta or triangle connection. In a delta setup, all three coils are connected in a closed loop. There's no neutral wire, only three-phase wires. This design is known for its ability to handle high loads, maintain voltage stability, and operate without a central grounding point. For a system aiming to deliver 230 volts between phases, Delta makes sense. The team doesn't just mention the wiring, they highlight it. Because in a triphasic system, precision is everything. A misstep in wiring and the output becomes unstable or dangerous. 
But in this version, voltage measurements show consistent values across phases, hinting at a successful configuration. Internally, the energy likely circulates in a loop, aided by the rotating magnetic field of the alternator. That field, combined with proper wiring and rotational force, is what allegedly keeps the system going. Yet there's a layer of secrecy. The full motor specs are only available in the members only video, which leaves the public asking, what are they holding back? What's powering the rotation? And can it really sustain itself? First indoor test and performance. After the build was completed, it was time for the moment everyone was waiting for, the indoor test. No dramatic music, no high-tech lab, just the machine, a pull starter, and a camera. The video shows a simple action. The starter is pulled with minimal force. At first, nothing happens. Then slowly, the system comes to life. It almost didn't start, the creator remarks, but it does. And when it does, something strange happens. Readings show 230 volts between the phases, a standard voltage in many triphasic systems. No battery is seen connected. No visible external power source. The implication? The device is producing usable electricity on its own. The alternator hums steadily. No overheating, no sparks. It seems balanced, controlled. But while the output is shown, one thing is missing. A connected load. We don't see it powering lights, machines, or storage systems. It's output without a purpose. For now. Still, the voltage between phases is consistent. That's a major achievement in any triphasic setup, especially one built manually. Viewers are left both amazed and suspicious. Could this be the real deal? Or is it a clever display with hidden support systems off camera? What we saw was enough to ask serious questions, but not enough to prove anything. Yet. What the short video doesn't show. While the edited video gives us a glimpse into the Liberty engine's potential, it also leaves a lot unsaid. Much of the technical detail, like torque input, efficiency ratios, and internal circuitry, is locked behind a members-only version. In the short clip, we see the engine running, we see voltage readings, but we don't see a full breakdown. There's no continuous runtime footage, no load testing, and no measurement of current flow under working conditions. And that raises the question, what is being hidden? Supporters argue that the creators are simply protecting intellectual property, guarding their invention from being copied or discredited before it's ready. Critics, however, see the lack of transparency as a red flag. They ask if this truly is the future of energy, why keep it gated? Still, the community keeps growing. Members are joining, discussions are spreading, and curiosity is fueling this movement whether or not the science checks out. And with every withheld detail, interest only intensifies. The Infinite Energy Debate The boldest claim surrounding the Liberty Engine 1.1 is simple. Infinite Energy. Two words that have haunted and inspired inventors for centuries. But what does it really mean? In scientific terms, infinite energy sounds impossible. It challenges the first law of thermodynamics, which says energy cannot be created or destroyed, only converted. If this engine creates more energy than it consumes, it would defy everything we know about physics. But the creators never say perpetual motion. They say infinite generation. There's a subtle difference. Some speculate that the engine is part of a highly efficient closed loop system, where minimal input maintains ongoing output, Others believe it's harvesting environmental energy in a way not yet understood. Skeptics argue that terms like infinite are marketing tricks designed to attract attention while avoiding scientific scrutiny. And yet no one has fully debunked the Liberty engine. Not yet. The real question isn't whether the machine violates physics. It's whether we've misunderstood what it's doing. Could it be a breakthrough in energy recycling or electromagnetic propulsion? Or is it a sleight of hand hidden in plain sight? Either way, the phrase infinite energy has done its job. It has lit a spark of hope, doubt, 
and endless curiosity. And that's exactly what fuels revolutions. Community, revolution, and road. Ahead behind the Liberty engine isn't just a machine, it's a movement. What began as a small team of inventors has grown into a global community of supporters, skeptics, and independent engineers. Each new upload draws thousands of views, comments flood in, debates unfold, and people want to believe. The creators have leaned into that momentum. By offering exclusive content to paying members, they've built a support base to fund further development. In return, members get access to longer videos, uncut tests, and supposed technical specs, things the general public can only guess at. But this strategy has done more than raise funds. It has created a sense of mystery, a feeling that we're witnessing something just beyond reach. That this might be the early days of an energy revolution, quietly unfolding, one video at a time. Looking forward, the team hints at outdoor tests, load demonstrations, and possibly commercial prototypes. They say this is just the beginning. If even part of their claims are true, the implications are enormous. Off-grid homes, disaster-proof generators, and energy independence on a scale we've only dreamed of. But until we see more, the engine exists in a strange space between science and speculation, invention and imagination. The Liberty Engine 1.1 stirs more than curiosity. It challenges our understanding of energy. Is it genius or illusion? Hope or hype? That's for you to decide. If this made you think, like the video. If it made you question, share it. And if you want to see what comes next, subscribe. Whether real or not, the journey into the unknown has only just begun.